Well, it does appear that uh, Craig Schaefer, the magistrate judge in federal court, along with Louis Babcock, are involved in some serious cartels. You know, that's just an allegation. I don't know this. However, due to their negligence in the law and their refusal to uh, recuse and uh, provide me the rights, I mean, it's, it's hideous what is going on. What is wrong with Colorado? By the best interest of the child laws, any time that a child is taken from their parent and not seen their parent in 12 consecutive months, by the best interest of the child laws, the child is deemed kidnapped. By Penal Code 212.1, Olivia was kidnapped. The documents are also on file in this case in the U.S. Uh, Federal Court in Colorado, which does show um, the stuff is all over the internet. Social Services says there's no case on me. There's absolutely nothing. Yet uh, Magistrate Schaefer says that my filing, my habeas corpus filing for my daughter, that uh, there was no kidnapping of my child and that this is nothing is further from the truth. Read this. This is Magistrate Craig Schaefer in Denver, Colorado, in the United States federal courts in Colorado. This is extreme. This guy is aiding and abetting judicial criminals in legalized kidnapping acts. He needs to be investigated and reported. If he's doing any other crimes with anyone else, please report him to CBI and FBI immediately, please. This is over and over and over. He has done this to me, along with Lewis Babcock. I am told by feds that there are five really bad federal judges that are involved in some serious sex cartels of children and adults and drugs in our state. And it's clearly obvious this guy doesn't even know what legalized kidnapping is or grand treason to kidnapping. This needs to stop. I'm putting this all on here as Homeland Security has informed me that uh, I need to put it all publicly so that way um, it'll save my life. And it's pretty obvious that these judges are all in cahoots. Um, anyone else investigating this, look at my cases in the uh, Colorado Supreme Courts and the appellate courts, and you'll see the hideous nature of violation of my rights, especially my appellate rights, too. And they denied me every single filing because in the appellate court, they said because I didn't have an attorney. After I already filed my appeal, which is a constitutional violation, you cannot deny me an appeal just because I don't have an attorney. It's illegal. And then they refused to even look at my appeal for the custody case. There's nothing in the custody case. These judges are incompetent. They're criminals.